Hi everyone, Angus Pryor here. Welcome to the next video in the series on the ultimate practice makeover. I've got another special guest, uh, Kevin Joseph, all the way from Centaur, the makers of Dental for Windows, among other things. And Kevin's uh, dizzy title and perfect for today, your internal title is the head of growth, which is exactly what we want to be talking about. Welcome, Kevin. Thank you, Angus. And it's good to be uh, talking to all you guys out there. Absolutely. Now, look, um, in a minute, we're going to talk about, because Dental for Windows is one of the very important sponsors uh, of the Ultimate Practice Makeover. But the fact is, as head of growth, uh, I call myself the Practice Growth Specialist. Kevin and I are kindred spirits. And our goal for the Ultimate Practice Makeover is to really try and achieve the fastest transformation possibly of all time. And, of course, that's all about growth. Now, it just happens, Kevin, that uh, you've got a slide that we've been talking about, which is, um, I just I made a note here, four keys for building a successful business. And yes. some people will look at, you know, Centaur, Dental for Windows, and they go, oh, well, that's, you know, you're kind of in the IT space. But, of course, what you do is much broader than that. Yes, quite true, Angus. In fact, our, our focus uh, is very much on how can we help you grow your practice, and, and, and to the point that we don't even call our salespeople salespeople, they are practice growth consultants or practice growth specialists. So every iteration and every piece of marketing that goes out, in fact, our vision as an organization, which is kind of like our daily prayer, is to provide solutions to help you grow your practice. Hmm. And every decision we take is always, how does this help the practice grow their business? Yeah, Okay. So you've got four of these uh, success steps, I suppose. Um, yes. Let's talk about the first one. Okay, Angus, you know, it's, it would be quite easy to come up with a list of 10, and I'm sure there are 10 or 20, but we felt that there were four basic KPIs that a dental practice could focus on. Uh, and if you get these four right, you can turn your practice from being a good practice into a great practice. And they're quite fundamental. There's nothing silver bullet about this. It's very fundamental and basic business sense. The first one is all about, well, what have I got? I've got my appointment book. I can only work a certain finite amount of hours, whether I'm the principal dentist or my associate dentist. And the challenge has got to be fill up my appointment book, my appointment book occupancy. And clearly the single opportunity that comes out of that, besides your reputation and how good your work is and all of that, clearly, um, uh, as I said, I'm going to be very fundamental in this discussion, is ask yourself the question, does my practice have online booking? Today, everything is done on these things. We Google we look for and we book whether it's hair appointments, movie tickets, those of us that can still go out. Um, everything is booked online nowadays, restaurants, etc. And And your patients are expecting to book online when they want to book, what time they want to book. And even if they're lying in bed at 10 o'clock at night and they go, oh, I've got to go see Dr. Ho tomorrow. And then she will take out her phone and make an online appointment. So it's become now table stakes. Make sure you've got online booking access. You open your reception and your appointment book 24 hours, seven days, 365 days a year. All right. That's number one. Let's talk about number two. Okay. Once you've got your appointment book full, the only other variable that you can adjust in order to grow your revenue is your dollars per treatment, your dollars that you earn per hour. And one's got to shift one's practice away from the basic check and clean, you know, the hundred and hundred, hundred and fifty dollar appointment. How can I grow that? And clearly that takes internal um internal discussions with your patients. Clearly, that's one of them. It's what you put onto your website to show your services, but even more importantly, when the patient comes into your practice, you've got a captive market. They're sitting there in the reception area, reading some journal that you've placed on the table. There's, some, there's things such as 
Explain TV, which is all about patient education, that you can actually show them visually with sound uh, what services your practice offers. You can customize it with your own practice information. And it's um, a very entertaining, easy to understand form of patient education. Uh, you, you can have patient explain TV in your waiting room. You can have a chair side as you treating your patient. You can reference the screen, turn it to them and show them what you mean by a crown or a bridge or an implant. And there's patient explain online, which you can place onto your website so people can click and watch it. So patient education to grow your revenue per hour of booking in your appointment. Yeah, and I think, you know, one of the challenges that dentistry faces is that I mean, by and large, Joe Public is just not thinking about the dentist most of the time. You know, if, yes. you're, um, if you're a good boy or girl, you go twice a year. So for a bunch of people, it's once a year. And for a bunch of people, it's maybe every few years. So that's really important. All yes. right, let's talk about number three. Well, what you just said there, Angus, is a segue into the third point. The third point is about inactive versus active patients. We're all very keen to always chase new patients. I've got to get new patients through my door. But statistically, and it's been proven that to obtain a new patient, a new customer in whatever industry can cost up to 15 times more than rejuvenating <clears throat> existing patients. Yeah. So often, have a, look at your, have a look at your database. Your database of patients probably suggests because this is what our information in our reports can show you, suggests that up to 75% of your patient database are inactive. Yeah. That means however you define inactive, they haven't been in, say, for the last 12 months. Now, there's a gold mine of opportunity to reach out to those people to encourage them to come back. <clears throat> Excuse me. And one can do that through very simple marketing systems. Often people go, oh, oh marketing, I want to do marketing, but I don't know where to start. Yeah. Besides people like Angus, who simplify it and make it so easy to understand and can customize it to your practice, there are also other um, portals that exist. And Dental for Windows Marketing, as an example, offers very basic fundamental campaign opportunities for you to set and forget automated um, campaigns that go out uh, with very high quality artwork uh, that can be customized to your practice to reach out to those inactive patients to shift them to becoming more active. And yeah. you're sitting on that as a gold mine. Yeah. And, and uh, two comments. Firstly, as we've already discussed, I mean, it's, it's so much cheaper to re-engage and and there is already that trust there. You know, if I'm already going to see Dr. Kevin, then an invitation from Dr. Kevin, I don't, there's no sort of reeling back. It's like, well, he's my dentist, even though often people, they just get Correct. busy. Oh, I thought Correct. I was a dentist last six months ago, Kevin. I didn't realize yeah, exactly. it was 18 months. You um, know, you take your car for a service. Nowadays, you get a reminder, your car is due. Yeah, your car is due for another service, and we go, "Oh my goodness, I've got to take my car for a service. Otherwise, like it's going to break down the next day. I've got to look after it." So why not remind patients it's time to come in and check the health of your mouth? Because as we all know, the health of one's mouth can affect the health of one's whole body. Yeah. So yes, remind your inactive patients to keep coming back. I, and I think the other thing is I've actually um, had the pleasure of having a quite a good look at the marketing system in Dental for Windows. And it is, uh, you know, I would say this is modern marketing. It's not stuff from, um, you know, years gone by. I really like the artwork and the messaging. Uh, and that's that's uh, that's high praise coming from me. Thank you, I see a lot of stuff I don't like. Uh, and I actually think they've done it very well. All right, let's talk about the fourth point for getting that successful practice the fourth point is again such a fundamental opportunity and that is what we call incomplete treatment plans plans that you've presented to your patients but generally because they may not have the money available to do it sits incomplete in your 
in, in that report that you can run in dental for windows that says incomplete treatment plans. Our experience shows that a typical busy practice, and maybe that typical busy practice is a four-chair practice, on average has got $800,000 sitting at any point in time in incomplete treatment plans. So how can we help you convert that into revenue? How can that drop down from your balance sheet into your income statement? <laughs> Offer a buy now, pay later product. It gives your patient an alternative, such as National Dental Plan, NDP, to pay exactly the same amount of money, no interest, over 24 months they can pay it, and get the treatment they need and require today and pay it off the same amount over two years. The benefit to your practice is that you get the money up front. You get the money even before you start expending that service. So it's a win, win, win. Um, so really take it seriously, guys. Look at an opportunity for a buy now, pay later, such as NDP. Yeah, and, and look, I mean, that, that number is staggering, but I'm sure quite true. 800,000 in potential business. And I'd be, I'd be staggered if there wasn't a person listening to this that wasn't salivating over that number. And <laughs> let's face it, what if you get 10%, 20% exactly. of it? What kind of a difference is that going to make? I, I, you know, for most businesses, um, you know, even a 100, 200,000 growth is like a 10 or 20% growth in their practice. Exactly so, right. Exactly right, Angus. Correct. So, well, look, thanks for those four key points, Kevin. So let's talk about the important part. So for, I mean, it's all important, but for the people watching this, ultimate practice makeover, an unbelievable $90,000 makeover for their practice in a period of about six months. And Centaur has very generously come on board to throw 5K into the mix uh, in terms of the, you know, Dental for Windows and other products. What, um, I mean, I suppose it's hard to say, but there's a bit of a suite of things that, that that group can draw from and presumably they're going to get something that's custom that works perfectly for yes, them of course. Time. Well, you know, Angus, 100% right. We would go in, uh, our practice growth specialists would go into the practice, whether it's just, uh, and it, do an evaluation of the requirements of the practice. We call that a health check. We'll do a thorough health check of the business. Um, out of that will come where the gaps or the pain spots are. We offer Dental for Windows in a variety of formats. There's the on-premise version, which we call the classic version. Yeah. And, and now we've launched kind of a Dental for Windows into Dental for Web. So it's almost like Mercedes launching an electric car <laughs> because you can, you can now get dental, all the benefits and this, the flow of Dental for Windows into Dental for Web. So you can have a browser version, which has all the benefits of even increased security, accessibility. And then out of that, there are other modules that become available to you, depending on where your needs are. For example, like online appointments, patient acquisition, marketing, uh, buy now, pay later. They're all those other services that sit in our ecosystem that you and we can then decide what's right for your business to help you grow your practice. Our vision is all about growth. How can we help you grow your practice? Absolutely. Well, that's fantastic. Again, I, look, I'm certainly very appreciative um, to Centaur for being part of this journey. And we just can't wait to see the transformation for the practice that we... Yes. This is, you know... They, they used to talk about don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I don't know the origin <laughs> of that expression, but I'm struggling to think of a bigger gift horse in dental land in the last 5, 10, 20 years. I agree, Angus. A $90,000 makeover. Um, wow. Certainly what Central's doing is very generous part of that. There's a, a $40,000 fit out. Uh, there's a whole stack of marketing, a whole bunch of working with coaches, et cetera, et cetera. So before we let Kevin go, um, if you're watching this and you're thinking, well, how do I enter? If you head to ultimatepracticemakeover.com.au, it closes on the 31st of July, 2021. 
Um, and all you need to do is you can either shoot a two minute video, very simple, just use your smartphone, or alternatively in 250 words or less, just tell us there's some things you've got to cover there. It's pretty simple, but don't let this opportunity pass. If you know that you need this help and you're really looking to take your practice from maybe good, maybe not good, to great in that amazing six month period, then please head across to Ultimate Practice Makeover. Kevin, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Angus. Thank you for the opportunity to talk to all your good friends out there. We look forward to helping you. Absolutely. Cheers. Thank you. 